Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Vita Studio and to do a quick video to share with you the cinematic bundle sample which contains six different titles from the six best cinematic pack available on our website. You can use this sample bundle for free. You can download it by clicking the link in the description below and follow along with this video. If you enjoy those kind of titles, we have also the full bundle available on our website at vita.studio.com. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so you can download the cinematic bundle sample by clicking the link in the description below. You will get the zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you a folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work. So select all the font and then double click on them to start the installation process. Again, very important, it will not work if you don't install the font. Don't worry, there is a hundred of them, but they're actually families. It's only four or five font to install. Once that's done, you can go over to the DRFX file and double click on it to start the installation process. You can then select install. Once in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to effect, titles, video to studio, and then here you will find bundle sample, cinematic, and you'll have the six different title available right here. So let's start by dragging, for example, here, this one from the cinematic hype. Let's drag it and bring it right above our footage right here. I'm gonna extend it to just cover the entirety of the footage. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit in my timeline so we can see a bit more what we're doing. Already, as you can see, we have all layout working out perfectly. I'm gonna extend here my inspector so we can see what we're doing. First off, if I want to adjust the timing of the animation, I can do that right here in the inspector where we have the animation in and out control. So here, as you can see, when I play it, I'm dropping a few frames. What I wanna do is go over to playback and then here run the cache and I'm gonna select smart. That's just gonna bring that red bar right above my title that's gonna turn to blue. When it's been turned fully to blue, that means that the title has been caching and I will be able to get real-time playback. Right now, if I play it, as you can see, we're getting real-time playback now and the animation is taking about three seconds to fully complete. If we want to have that animation go faster, we can here switch it, for example, for one second. And now if I play it, as you can see, the animation is only about one second. You can choose to have also no animation in. Right now, we select none and we will have no animation in. We have also a bunch of different other animation we can choose from in terms of the direction of the fade. And it's exactly the same selector right here in the animation out. Then everything else is pretty standard and simple. We have the overall size and position to adjust the size of our text or reduce it. We can also change that individually on a text level. So here, if I open that drop down, we have a text one. I can increase or reduce the size of that text. We can change it to whatever text we want. We can also adjust the overall tracking of the text. You can change the font, the opacity, the appearance. For example, here, if we want outline, we can do that very easily. And you can change the color as well as the shadow strengths of that title. You can repeat that process on each of the individual text available. And finally, here we have a background. By default, it's at opacity zero, but if you want to make uh, the title stand out a bit more, you can just here increase the opacity and it will just bring that layer in between the title and the footage to help your title pop a little bit more. Then we can bring the film festival award sample. I'm gonna drag it right here. Same, I'm gonna make it the same length as my footage. As you can see right now, everything is very similar. We're sharing the same animation feature uh, as well as the control for the size and position, the color, the text, so on and so forth. The main thing that's gonna change from one title to another is mostly gonna be uh, the title itself, but the functionality gonna remain the same. What you can do for a title like this one, for example, is that you can create your own layout. So here, if I just reduce, for example, the overall size, and then I'm breaking that down a little bit. We can then just duplicate that layout and uh, make a few of them. So here, I'm just gonna duplicate that. We're gonna reduce uh, the overall size to 0 0.5, and then we're gonna bring it to the side. I'm gonna repeat the same process for the other one, and I'm gonna displace it in the other direction. Then you could use another title, like Cinematic Classic Sample, for example, and stack it again on the top of everything else. Now we can displace the overall position. So here, I'm just gonna do that right here. 
And if I want to adjust the overall size and position of my layout now with those world, I can just select the three of them, right click and create a new compound clip. Then we can easily take that compound clip and adjust the overall position of it. So I'm gonna drag it here a bit more above and I'm gonna reduce the overall size. Then we can keep using the cinematic modern sample to add some lower third or other element in our video. So right now I can change the same the text to whatever I want. You can change it to any font that you have available on your computer. For example, here I could go for a big Garamon. Here I just do overall tracking and I can then place it wherever I want on screen. Again, if I want to create more separation with my background, I can use the shadow control. Here, for example, we could enable that and increase the shadow control, or we could use the background. So here, same thing, I can increase the opacity of that background. Also, what you could do with the background is that you could localize uh, that background. For example, here, if we increase the opacity, as you can see, we can then reduce here the overall width, the overall height, and then we can just place that right behind our text and then adjust the soft edges. That way we have a localized mask right behind the title that helps the title pop a lot more. On this specific one, you can also choose between a different style. Right now, as you can see, the letters are animated one by one in a random order, but you can choose that order to be, for example, here from left to right or from right to left, so on and so forth. And then lastly, for example, we could use our cinematic hype 2.0 and drag that in. And basically it's acting as a mask. Right now, as you can see, the footage right below is basically a see-through title where the footage is actually placed in the title, in the text. So you can use that in many different way. You can choose the overall color. So right now, if you want to have something that is darker, you can choose the mood like that. If on the contrary, you want to have something white, you can do that as well right here by selecting whatever color you have available. Each element of the text is also customizable here in the different secondary. As you can see, that's a lot of different text that you can modify and you can adjust the individual position of those texts as well. And that's pretty much it, how this bundle will be helpful to you. Again, you can download it in the description below. And if you enjoy those kind of titles, we have a full bundle available on our website that contains six cinematic pack for DaVinci Resolve. So if that's something you are interested in, you can check it on our website at videostudio.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.